can rightly divide the word of truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without any further ado, my friend, my brother, and my pastor, Pastor Jimmy Harper. Hear ye him. Let us stand to our feet as we receive him on this morning. Tell him, preach. It is a blessing from the Lord Amen. to know that you can go to the worship experience and have some folk who are just energized, excited, amen, about the goodness of God. Now, I don't know about you, amen, but could we give them a round of applause worthy of On a dismal day, a day that Rain, clouds, Thank you, amen, Thank you, seem to, amen, pull and sap vitality yes, sir. from the rays of the sun. Yeah. But yet they can come in here, amen, excited about the goodness of God yes, and sing songs of Zion yes, about, amen, his power. Yes. Amen. I want to thank this choir for talking about let go and let God. Yes. Amen. And then the reason why you let go and let God because God is able. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the able. Yeah. The reason you know he's able because it's personal, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said the blood still works. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. The blood still works because it saved me. Yeah. I want to say to each and every one of you, that's a testimony all of us can have. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because of the goodness of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to tell you something that is a place out there in Mount Moriah Cemetery just for you. Amen. Let me say that again. Amen. There's a place out in Mount Moriah Cemetery just for you. Yes, sir. And if it ain't Mount Moriah Cemetery, you want, amen, to lay your remains over in Mac Amelot, amen, at the, amen, North Rock Gardens, you can be over there. Or you can go on down to Hensley, amen. But I'm trying to tell somebody, that we got an appointment with death without the privilege of cancellation. We're going to have to meet death for ourselves, each and every one of us. And you know what I'm going to tell you is, hey amen, I would rather meet death knowing that I've given God my best. See, for me to live with God all of my existence, hey amen, I want to know that before I get there, God knows me. And I know him, amen. So I'm not afraid, amen, about death. Death is a part of our transition to get us to where God wants us to be. Amen. I'm just excited about the people of God who can praise God when it's raining as well as when it's shining. Because all of us have some up moments, amen. All of us have some down times, amen. And so I'm just so thankful, amen. Whatever you're going through, I heard. Kiki, when she said, whatever you're going through, yeah. you ought to be able to praise God. Yes, Amen. 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 I'm not going to hold you very long. I just needed to get that out of the way. We got members who are ill, who are transitioning from sickness to health. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's a part of it. Anybody been sick before? Amen. Amen. All of us can go with that, right? Amen? Yeah. We understand it. Sometimes the sickness goes beyond you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, doing your own care. Uh -huh. And you have to have the care of medical physicians. Yes, sir. And nurses. But amen? We pray for those that are sick and shut in, unable to move and have their being, amen. And I hope and pray, all of you pray for them. Pray for the bereaved families. Amen. Who have lost loved ones. Because we've all been there before, amen. Now, when I get to go to church, amen, and that's about two times a week, amen, I go with a level of excitement and good, amen, appreciation for what God has done. Now, we're getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving, amen, in a few days. Some of those of you that work circular jobs, amen, have already been told. They're going to let you off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. Now, if you're not off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 
you might be working for the wrong employer. Yeah. Amen. For those of you that are, amen, you better thank God, amen, that somebody wanted to, amen, let you off a few more days. Amen. Amen. But if you're not off, I still want you to praise God. Because your blessing is on the way. Amen. Amen. So it's a good thing to thank God for what God is doing. There is a word found in 1 Thessalonians. I think that it's appropriate for this particular session. Found in 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter and the 18th verse. That deals with some dialogue. As Amen, Paul was closing a letter. And, and, and just, I'm going to read Amen verses 12 through 18 just to be able to let you know what he was talking about. Yeah. Right. I want to thank my assistant pastor and our bishop staff. I'd like to thank you, man, our evangelist. Amen. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your level of support in our convention meeting that we held the other week. You all were outstanding in the way that we celebrated the General Missionary Baptist State Convention of Arkansas. I also want to inform you, I know they read it on the announcement board and on December the 31st. Those guys were so impressed with you, they want to come and be a part of the celebration here at Watch Meeting Night. So I want to say that we're going to have a great time Amen. Allowing them to be themselves as we celebrate the passing of an old year yes, and coming amen. in of a new year. Amen. amen. When you find the same man. Amen. amen. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I want to talk from the thought. Amen. I want to talk about a simple thank you. Amen. It's in order. For God. Yes. I think all of us want to be appreciated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of us, amen, don't mind hearing the word thank you. Amen. amen. We've learned in life that every thank you is really not appreciated. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. Because we are living in a changing and diverse world. Yeah. Yeah. It's always changing. Always. Yeah. Yeah. We're living in changing times. Yes, sir. Can you think of anything in life, amen, that doesn't change? Amen. People change. Clothing change. Seasons change. Time change. Hair change. Amen. From black to gray. Amen. And if you know Miss Claire, all that will change from blonde to white to gold. Yes, sir. I have to read. Amen. 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 Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Amen. Everything changes. I'm telling y'all. Amen. Choose to change. Even the landscape of North Little Rock, Little Rock, even Scott changes. Amen. Will constantly change. And the reason, some of the reasons why the changes are being allowed to take place is that God has things in motion. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. The Psalms 124, 1 and 2 says something about if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, 
Now may Israel say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. Yeah. All through history, it has been God that's been stable. Yeah. Yeah. Man has always been changing. But we find out in the word of God that God changes not. Yeah. Isn't it remarkable that the creation that God created is in a, a constant change? But the God that created everything that's in motion stays and remains the same. Yeah. Isn't that all right? Yeah. See, we have to have something that we can hold on to. Yes, sir. There has to be some stability in our lives for us to grasp because God knows, amen, if he changed uh, like we changed, uh, the world would be in a greater mess than what it is right now. Yeah. Yeah. God has to have a stabilizing force. Yeah, it has come to me by reasonably reliable authority so, yeah. that the mark of culture and the stamp of breeding is to be measured by the use of what society calls ethics. We are, amen, characterized either as polite or impolite, rude or refined by our ability or inability to make the proper use of ethics. Yes, Edward says that there are certain responses for certain situations. If you ask for a favor, the proper etiquette would demand a plea. Amen. In the words of please. Uh -huh. Amen. If one make an error, proper response would be, I'm sorry, or excuse me. Yeah. If you interrupt others in conversation or in activities, it's correct to say, pardon me. Amen. And if someone does something for you or with you, it is appropriate to say, in response to their kindness, thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's just proper etiquette. Amen. 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 I found in life that everyone don't use proper etiquette with everybody. Yes. Amen. If it's somebody you like, you might say, thank you. Yeah. If it's somebody that you're glad to see, you might say good morning. Yeah. Amen. But there are some of us who call ourselves Christians don't always say thank you when someone does something for us or, or good morning when we meet someone. If it's not the personality that we like or want to see, we have a tendency to not say anything or even, amen, evade or avoid them altogether. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got some stuff we got to deal with. Amen. Amen. This is a lesson from etiquette today. Amen. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah. I bring this lesson to your attention only because we are living in a world that has lost nearly all of a sense of propriety. Amen. And all. Yeah. Very often, we don't know what to do. Amen. Amen. How to do. Uh -huh. When to do. Yeah. Or we just do. People will run over you. Amen. Yes, sir. And never come back to say excuse me. Right. Amen. Amen. They'll ask you for the word and expect you to give it. And never a word, please. Yes. There are those who will take you and everything about you for granted. Yes, sir. And never once say a word about thank you. Y'all yeah. been there? Yeah. You had people like that, amen? Yeah. Some people think you owe them. Yeah. Have you ever been, a, amen, as a Christian? Amen. Tell somebody no, and then they tell you, you suppose yeah. to be yeah. our Christian. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Amen. amen. Some of y'all couldn't say amen because you have all But I must not. I must confess that I don't know why, I can't imagine why a man or a woman, amen, will not be able to say thank you. Yeah. See, when you woke this morning, it was not because, amen, you were so healthy. Yeah. It was not because, amen, it was just for you to, amen, shake off sleep. But when you woke this morning, God allowed you to rain. Amen. He rose you from sleep and slumber. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. We too often don't even thank God for waking up in the morning. Amen. Then giving you health and strength to be able, amen, to, amen.
even be able to walk and talk and move your limbs, amen. I was with one of my friends the other day, and he's a little younger than I am. And he had been sitting in a seat that was raised from the floor. And his feet were on the little pedestals under the bottom of it. And when he rose from that seat and hit the ground, he started falling. And as he started falling, I didn't know he was falling. I thought he was just joshing with me because I said something funny. But as I watched him continue to push me in a different direction than I wanted to go, he looked at me and said, Jimmy, my leg. <laughs> Jesus cleansed. Nine went on their way. 
and only one came back to say thank you. Isn't it remarkable? And when he came back, amen, the Lord said our faith, amen, hath made you whole. And I wondered when God said our faith had made thee whole and the other nine didn't come, I said to myself they were cleansed but they weren't whole. I said if they weren't whole, they, 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 that meant that there was something missing. Yes, Hello, somebody. Yes, See, God says they should have come back and said, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. It's a simple word, but it carries a lot with God. Yes. Just say, thank you. Yes. If you're blessed to have money in your pocket right now, you ought to say, thank you. Yes, yes. Boy, that was that, that was just a quality check. I just checked. I just checked. Amen. Some of y'all couldn't even say thank y'all ain't lying in God's house. Maybe you robbed God in tithes if you just didn't want to say thank you now. Amen. 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 Then again, there, there, there may be those who are unable to say thank you. It's not in their vocabulary. They just have a hard time expressing thanks. But but word, I grew up, if you couldn't say thank you, it was a man a reflection on your upbringing and, and your home training. You may not have any money, but you can have manners. Hello, somebody. You may be poor, but you can be polite. Everybody ought to learn to say thank you. Paul, within the text that I read for your listening pleasure, to the Thessalonians. Nikons, amen, was en route to Rome with a layover in Corinth. And when, amen, he wrote the first letter to this young church at Thessalonica, uh -huh. amen, Paul was aware that the church would have its ups and its downs, oh, yeah. its risings and its falls, yes, sir. in order that their faith might be well founded, in order, amen, that their hope might be sustained. Paul sent them a letter about Christian ethics. First of all, Paul said, see that, amen, you can't live a Christian life on payback philosophy. Amen. 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 You, you can't live a Christian life on payback philosophy. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of folk want to pay folk back. Yeah, yeah you want to get them back. Oh, yeah. They did something to you. Yeah. I'm going to pay them back. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You cannot live a Christian life Amen. talking about what somebody done to you in the past. Yeah. If Jesus, amen, has come into your life, All right. amen, Amen. and you done what the choir song, let go Amen. and let God, yeah. Yeah. amen, then you can have the blessed assurance that God can take care of anybody and anything that has already happened to you. Yes, but some of us got this payback philosophy. Yes, hey man, I, I know they didn't like me. I know they ain't right. Hold up, slow down, slow down. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if any man be in Christ, he's a what? All things are what? And behold, all things are what? Come on now, there's got to be some changes that are taking place. Yeah. See, what I love about this thing is, those of you that are really studying the word, those of you that are studying the scriptures, you're learning how to live a new life. You're learning how to walk a new walk. You're learning how to talk a new talk. Now, if you ain't learning, amen, you're still walking your old walk. You're still, amen, speaking your old talk. You're still, amen, doing the same thing that well, got you in trouble many a time before you turn your life over to the Lord. Now, I don't want to say you turned your life over because you might not have turned your life over. You may have gave the preacher your hand, but you never gave God your heart. See, that, that's the problem. You got to give God your all. Amen. Come on now, stop holding back on God. Amen. The greatest lover you'll ever have, women. Amen. The greatest friend you'll ever have, men. Amen. He, he'll stick with you better than a brother. Amen. And there, there is no friend like Jesus. The one that laid down his life for your sins and mine and then went to a cold grave. I can close like some of them preachers. And it's Sunday morning. Uh, 
And y'all don't want me to stop. See, I make some of y'all mad if I keep going on. See what I'm talking about? We got to stop. We got to be real with God. Amen? God wants us to be real. See, I want every one of the blessings that God got with my name on it. Amen. I know I got blessings with my name on it. Life ain't over right now. I'm still at my amen twilight years. I know I got more days. I know I got more time. Amen. And every moment, every hour, amen, every day, every year, I'm thriving to be more like Jesus. I don't know about you, but I want to be like him. I want to talk like him. I want to live like him. I want to do the things he did. I want to lay hands on the sick. They'll See, if you want to be like Jesus, you got to remember what he said. I'm going to go and cut across the field here. Amen. Jesus said uh, to the early church, he said, a new commandment I, I give unto you. Uh, he said, love ye one and another. Mm -hmm. Ain't God all right? Uh, I know what I'm talking about. God is a good God. Yes, He is. I heard Paul when he said rejoice in the Lord always. I don't know about you, but I got up this morning with rejoicing on my mind. I said thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for starting me on another day's journey. Thank you. For food, health and strength, I tell you. And then when I reflected upon some of the members who are down on their backs, ain't able to rise, I said, thank you. I want you to bless somebody. I want you to bless me that I can bless somebody else. Thank God, all right. I got to leave you now. But I Yeah. 